Hi, today we're gonna make Turkish dessert. It's called uh, kunafa. Uh, we're gonna use this kind of dough today. This, uh, that's the frozen one and uh, package. Oh, sorry, it looks like this. And uh, we're gonna need paru, unsalted cheese. Uh, you can use uh, ricotta or mozzarella. I'm using Turkish cheese. Lemon, sugar, and some water. All right, let's begin. Okay, first we're gonna make a syrup. We're gonna bring to boil half of the cup of sugar and one cup of water. Okay, we mix mixed water with the sugar and we have to bring it to the boil. And we gotta boil it for about five minutes. Um, we're gonna make like a thick syrup. Okay, now syrup is boiling. We're gonna stir it until it's gonna get thicker. All right. And at the end, we're gonna add a couple drops of lemon juice. Right, let's just keep mixing it. Around five minutes. All right, so we're gonna add a couple drops of lemon in there. All right, let's see how much less it is right now. So then it's much more sticky. So that's real syrup, that's what we need. Okay, that's ready. We're gonna keep syrup um, on a stove uh, on a warm more because we're gonna need it um, warm when we're gonna pour it over our dessert all right first what we need to do is uh, we're gonna separate this dough and we're gonna cut it into smaller pieces okay just separate them a little bit and after that we're gonna cut them Looks pretty cool. Huh, it's like a hair. <laughs> it's so nice. Ooh, fun. Woohoo. Okay. There you go. Right, next we're gonna melt the butter and we're gonna pour it on our dough and we're gonna mix it well.
Next, we're gonna shred our cheese. My cheese is a little bit frozen, so I have to do it. You, you can use just your hands if you prefer. It doesn't really matter. As soon as it has a small piece, it's gonna be fine. Okay, okay, now here is my trick. In Turkey, usually they use a special dish to cook this kind of dessert. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the pan used for the uh, pancake and ring for the cakes to form it. And I'm just gonna um, add some butter so it's not gonna stick to that. Pretty good amount. <laughs> okay. Or something to the ring. Just to the bottom part. It's not gonna be too high, so that's just the bottom part we need. Okay. All right. That's done. Okay, now we're gonna form our canafe. Okay, first layer is done. Make sure you press good on it. It has to be hard. Okay, make it even. Okay, this is good. Okay, so you have to press on, on the cheese as well, but make sure the cheese doesn't touch the um, your ring. We won't have some space between the ring and the cheese, and otherwise it's gonna get it's much sticky and we're not gonna be able to flip it. All right, so, okay, this is done. Now we're gonna put the second layer.
okay we press it down again in the second layer um, make sure it's even and otherwise it's that little pieces if they're sticking out they can get burned all right okay that's done I place our dessert over um, medium heat and uh, if you have a gas uh, stove it's gonna be better I have electrical but it's gonna work as well here so just you have to watch when the sides are gonna start getting brown we're gonna flip it over so right now we just have to make sure it's not gonna get burned so keep it in a medium heat okay okay now um, the bottom part is ready we have to flip it over Okay, we place it back on the stove and see how it's nice cooked. All right, we have to make sure that the second porridge is also cooked as well. It's going to take a few more minutes. When you cook, you want to make sure it's uh, done evenly. So try to move your skillet from side to side. Maybe move it even like a um, little bit out of the side. Uh, we want to make sure all our edges are cooked well. Okay. And just keep it inside. And it's almost done. It's getting brown. Okay, it's ready. So it's pretty brown from the other side. It's even. We have a little melted cheese sticking out already. So right now we just have to uh, put it in the plate and uh, put hot syrup on um, over it. Well, if you have a deep dish, you can put the syrup um, right in there. But because I use that uh, flat skillet, um, I can't really do anything. I don't want to eat from that. So I'm gonna put it on a plate. Okay, it's ready. So I put the syrup on top of it. And I'm just gonna spread it. Okay, this dish served hot. Uh, so don't wait for it to cool down. So it can be served immediately after you pour the syrup on top of it. You gotta cut it in the pieces. And the cheese is pretty um, stretchy, it's like a good mozzarella cheese on the pizza so you're gonna cut it with a sharp knife all right and uh, for a decoration you can use uh, pistachios if you'd like just spread it on top of it
Okay, it looks like this. All right. Okay, enjoy.